Let's check out what's new in PHP Storm's latest version, 2016.1. You'll notice that version numbers have changed. At JetBrains, we've decided to unify the way we version things across the entire toolbox. Version numbers will now consist of the year, plus the release number within that year. And these version numbers will be consistent across all products within the toolbox. This release has primarily focused on the improvements in PHP language support and has seen a lot of improvements around the area of traits, particularly with auto-completion. PHP Storm 2016.1 brings support for PHP 7's group use statements. Using Alt and Enter, we can group and ungroup use statements by their namespace. Once the namespaces are grouped, all of the refactoring or the other intentions will honour these group namespaces. A new refactoring tool has been created for making functions static. This is as simple as going to the refactor menu and selecting make static for simple functions. Where the method references this, you'll need to pass an instance of the object into the refactored static method. Make static will ask you what you want to call this variable in this instance. Alternatively, you can remove the dependency on this by passing the values in as parameters. There are also new refactoring intentions you can use for working with switch and if statements. Use the intention to quickly convert a switch to an if and vice versa. There are also new intentions that allow you to flip the ordering of if and else statements. Step debugging is easier than ever in PHP Storm 2016.1. The zero config debugger has been improved to make configuring your debugging experience easier than ever. A debug button has also been added right into the built-in REST API client in PHP Storm. This means you can now step debug your REST API with one click without even needing to tell PHP Storm to listen for debug sessions. There have been a number of improvements around the tools in PHP Storm 2016.1. Here you can see how interpreters that are specific to this project can be marked as such, which is incredibly useful for when you're using tools like Vagrant that you don't want to see in other projects. You can also see here how mappings for remote interpreters have been improved, moving everything into one place. To save time and energy, we can also only rerun fail tests when we're using PHP Storm's PHP Unit or BHAT test runner. Just use the rerun fail test buttons to only run the fail tests that you think you've fixed. When you're using remote servers for deployment or interpreters, PHP Storm used to close the connection after every operation. This could be particularly time consuming when you were using PHP Storm's features like auto upload on save. Now, PHP Storm 2016.1 will attempt to keep the connection open by sending the correct Keep Alive messages, by default, every 300 seconds. Quick searching has been added to more places in PHP Storm 2016.1. Start typing in the Show Usages pane and you'll automatically filter down the results of the Show Usages search. You can also perform a search in the Terminal pane to highlight words you may be looking for. Once again, we've had a number of improvements thanks to the platform updates. PHP Storm 2016.1 comes with support for right-to-left languages, like Hebrew, improvements to JavaScript support, like Angular 2 and TypeScript, and improvements to the JavaScript debugger. We've continued to improve Docker support, including support for Docker Machine, a dedicated tool window for Docker, and the right-side panel allowing you to see logs and manage environment variables and port bindings. We've also had some improvements to the version control integrations, along with some improvements to the database tool, thanks to our colleagues at Datagrip. There's never been a better time to give PHP Storm a try. Download PHP Storm 2016.1 trial at jetbrains.com slash phpstorm. Thanks for watching.